Alright, this video is going to go over how to solve elasticity problems in economics. The example you're looking at in front of you right now is for the price elasticity of demand. You'll see we have percent change in quantity over percent change in price. And if you get confused over which goes on top, you can remember this little trick, uh, quarter pounder. I know it's kind of lame, but if you think about McDonald's and the quarter pounders, you'll always get these straight. So this example looks at the price elasticity of demand. We have this percent change in Q, which is just our ending quantity, minus our beginning quantity over average quantity, our end price minus our beginning price over average price. If we want to look at uh, the income elasticity of demand, we're just going to have our percent change in Q as it's affected by income. So percent change in Q over percent change in income. And that's our income elasticity of demand. Our cross price elasticity of demand is just going to be our percent change in Q again over our percent change in P. But the difference here is that this quantity is for good J and the change in price is for good I. So they're different goods, maybe hamburgers, quantity of hamburgers and price of hot dogs, that sort of thing. Alright, so for the first example we have price changing from $5 to $10, increasing $5, and quantity changing from 30 to 20, so a decrease in 10 units. What is the price elasticity of demand? Well, we know before from before that it's the percent change in quantity over the percent change in price. Quarter pounders, remember? But now we have to find the percent change in quantity and the percent change in price. So first let's do the percent change in quantity. Percent change in quantity, we take our ending quantity or 20 minus our beginning quantity of 30. Then we have to find what our average quantity is so 20 plus 30 divided by 2 this gives us negative 10 over 20 plus 30 is 50 divided by 2 or 25 and this can also be written as if we divide it by 2.5 as 4 tenths or we divide each of those by 2 can get 2 fifths now we need to find the percent change in price. So we're going to use the similar method. We'll start off with our ending dollar amount of 10, subtract our initial dollar amount of 5, divide by the average 10 plus 5 divided by 2. So here we get $5 is the difference, 10 minus 5. 10 plus 5 is 15 divided by 2 gives us 7.5 and those are all dollars these are all dollars and that gives us two-thirds so our percent change in price is two-thirds our percent change in quantity forgot those there is negative 2 over 5 so when we add those to where they go and our price elasticity of demand formula our numerator is going to be negative 2 point or negative 2 over 5 our denominator is going to be 2 thirds using that f invert and multiply rule we can take this denominator and flip it and multiply it by the numerator so we get negative 2 fifths times 3 halves and so that's going to give us negative 6 over 10 or negative 3 over 5 if we divide both these by 2 and that's just going to be negative 0.6. Second example what happens if they give you the price elasticity of demand and they want you to find the percent change in something so here we have the price elasticity of demand is equal to negative 0.5 and the price changes from twenty to ten dollars so here the price goes down first let's find the percent change in P so that's going to be equal to ten minus twenty over the average here is fifteen 
So we get 10 over 15. And then we set that up in our equation and solve for Q. So we have Q in the numerator, percent change in Q, our percent change in P in the denominator, 10 over 15. And so that's going to be equal to negative 1.5, our price elasticity of demand. So now what we need to do is solve for this percent change in Q. So what we can do here is flip this guy over, um, or we can just multiply both sides by 10 over 15. So we get percent change in Q equals negative 1.5 times our 10 over 15. And what is 10 over 15? times 1.5. This is the same as 2 thirds, so 2 thirds times 1.5 is going to give us negative 1. So our percent change in quantity is going to be equal to negative 1. So if we have a price elasticity of demand of negative 1.5, a price change from 20 to 10, what's our percent change in Q? our percent change in Q is going to be negative one.